Good morning. Welcome. Thanks for tuning in to Kilachari Torah's daily review of Maimonides 613 Mitzvahs, the Sefer HaMitzvot, for Tuesday, November 2nd. Our mitzvah at hand today is the prohibition of eating tevel. Tevel is untithed produce. Uh, we've discussed over the last couple of days uh, and even further about the uh, requirement, actually when we're talking about the positive commandments, the uh, mitzvah to tithe, take uh, truma and miser, take uh, uh, portions which are given uh, as uh, part of our support for the kohanim and for the poor amongst uh, our people and for a number of other uh, purposes. Uh, trumas and maestras. We have to take uh, the, uh, the tithes from produce before it is able to be consumed. So let's say a farmer, this applies to the land of Israel, of course, uh, even though there's a discussion if these uh, laws apply, if you're also if you're living in uh, Poland or in uh, in uh, southern Ontario or Saskatchewan or wherever, the uh, the agreement amongst uh, the halakh authorities is that these laws in here only in uh, the land of Israel. However, if you're in the land of Israel and you're a farmer and you have this beautiful harvest of uh, grain or of uh, some other fine produce and it's uh, the wonderful uh, blossoming of the desert, the fruits uh, of the land of our promised land, and you've gathered it all together after the harvest, it is all forbidden. It's all forbidden to be eaten. It's treif. If it gets mix, mix, mixed into other foods, it makes them treif. It's not kosher, not uh, fit for eating. Why not? Because until you take the tithes, until you remove uh, and separate uh, the tithes uh, that have to be uh, required by Jewish law, uh, the entire uh, bundle, the entire harvest remains uh, forbidden food. Once you take the tithes, everything you can ask uh, gesund hate. You can enjoy, uh, bake them into cakes, bake them into pies, grind them up, uh, make whatever you wish out of your uh, out of your produce. However, we are forbidden by uh, prohibition number 153 in Maimonides' list here from eating uh, tevel, which is untithed produce. Uh, the Gemara in Makkas says, uh, I might think that uh, one is liable only for eating tevel, untithed produce, uh, from which no do whatsoever has been set apart. But we actually uh, talk about the various ties. We talked about them over the last day or two. Uh, uh, trumas and Maisris uh, uh, all have to be removed, uh, before, all have to be taken, separated from the uh, crop before, the, uh, before they can be uh, eaten. This uh, conversation takes place across uh, many of the, first of all, in the Mishnah, many of the uh, Mishnayas, many of the tractates, in tracta in uh, Seder Zeraim, in the order that deals with uh, seeds, with planting, with agricultural laws, uh, because of the fact uh, that uh, these were not uh, considered applicable outside of Israel, the Babylonian Talmud does not have a lot of discussion of these. However, in the Yerushalmi, in the Jerusalem or uh, Palestinian Talmud, as I like to call it, uh, they do get uh, quite a bit of uh, treatment there. <coughs> so if you look in tractates Demai, which is questionable tithes, uh, Trumas and Maisras, there are tractates by those names dealing with those topics. Uh, that goes into uh, full depth about uh, what happens if a per person forgets, uh, if they can accidentally consume, if they accidentally mix uh, some of the untithed produce into a larger uh, portion or a larger cooking pot or a recipe, something like that, uh, how much of it uh, renders the entire uh, pot uh, unfit for eating. Uh, and how much can be uh, considered nullified, if at all. And these, of course, uh, uh, give way to conversations about, uh, about uh, forbidden mixtures of other things, for example, meat and milk in different places in Shulchan Aruch. Uh, he does add a note here to say that priests, Kohanim, were also obliged to set apart from their produce various uh, uh, trumas and maestras. Uh, however, being Kohanim, they were allowed to take the gifts from themselves. Levites, Levim, set apart and, uh, the, from their produce the uh, truma, and the first tithe from which they set apart, uh, from which they set apart a tithe for the Kohanim. Second tithe they took, and that they ate in Yerushalayim, as we discussed. Okay, we'll uh, leave it there for today. Please join us again tomorrow, and we'll talk about uh, some more. Uh, you know what? We'll tack one on more here, just because uh, it is uh, connected. Uh, prohibition number 154, we're forbidden to alter the prescribed, the prescribed order of harvest tithings. Uh, we said them in the, uh, in the order uh, the other day. We talked about uh, what order they're supposed to uh, come in, uh, in terms of the years, and not only the years, but in, also in terms of what order. So if the first, uh, the tithe is first taken uh, from, uh, a certain amount is taken from uh, the entire crop, and then from that, uh, a certain amount is uh, deducted from there. You have to do it in order, uh, and you can't uh, do it in any other order than that. Okay, to ensure accuracy and completeness in fulfilling the mitzvah. Have a good day. Please tune in again again tomorrow. Bye-bye.